Hey, hello everyone. Thanks for uh, joining me back here with a new build video. This time I'll be doing the repaint on the Hasbro M41A pulse rifle that I did a review on just a few weeks ago. So let's get going on this guy. So we got the gun here and to start with we've got these little hole divots around the gun. Um, probably, you know, points where they fill the mold for the uh, casing of the gun. So I'll need to fill those with putty and sand them down. Then we've got this Nerf logo here, which is raised. If you can tell that it's raised there, I'm going to have to sand that down smooth. Uh, we have this Aliens logo here, which is also raised. I'm going to cut this whole section out and remove it. And then uh, fill it in with a silver piece. And we also have these little areas here on the grenade launcher that I want to cut out so you can see through. And you'll see on this other side, we have another raised Nerf logo. And then we have all these holes, a lot of holes around the gun. Screw holes holding the halves together, all going to be puttied, filled in, sanded, so nice and smooth. So that's going to be a bunch of work and some more holes on the grenade launcher area here that I want to cut out. And then the battery cover, it's going to have to stay because obviously I need to change the batteries. So there's this little area here also that I'm going to fill with some putty and nice thin layer and smooth it out, sand it down, cover all that up, make it smooth. And then uh, we've got some seams where the two halves of the gun come together around the entire gun here. And I'm going to try to smooth those out and sand them down and try to make it as seamless looking as possible. So I'm going to start out here with one of the raised areas and I'm going to take a blade and see if I can shave off some of this raised area just to help me out with sanding so I don't have to sand the entire time and this is actually being rather difficult and a real pain not working out too well so I think I'm going to have to just go straight to sanding and just take my time sanding it you can see here what it did to this blade just chewed it up this is some hard plastic so I'm just gonna go here with the sanding block and just start sanding away and get this sucker down as smooth as I can with just sanding so this is gonna take a while to go around the whole kit and sand all these parts down but with a lot of effort and some sanding I've got this down here and it's nice and smooth now and I think it's going to work out really well. And then I've also done the same thing to the Nerf logo on the other side. Nice, smooth, sanded down. Next up, I've got these little divots. I'm going to use my Tamiya putty. And I'm just going to fill these divots in with some putty. And then let that harden up. And then I'll go over and sand that down smooth as well. And I've filled in these little divots all around this side of the rifle. And then I've filled in all the screw holes on the other side of the rifle. As well as put down some layers of putty right here to smooth this out and make it nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to start going around the whole toy and sand all these divots down. Got them all sanded down. They're feeling really good. Feels like they're nice and smooth. Hopefully I won't see any of these when it's painted. And I've gone on the other side, sanded down all the holes, this area right here. And everything appears to be nice and smooth. I've even done the little pump here on the uh, grenade launcher. So I said I wanted to cut all these little guys out on the... Uh, shotgun area and remove this aliens logo piece but I found this image online of the inside of the gun and if I remove those sections of the gun it's just not going to look right inside so I'm just going to end up sanding down this raised aliens logo here and smooth that out and paint it silver I also on this trigger it's a full large piece so I'm going to remove this section here to make it look more like a real trigger so it's empty there and all you see is the trigger. With it going all the way back here like this, it should still function and work just fine removing that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Dremel here and I'm just going to start 
grinding down the Aliens logo a little bit, again to help me with sanding, grind it down a bit, start out that way so that I can finish sanding it down and try to get it as smooth as possible. And now I'm just going to take my sandpaper and go through here and sand it down, work at it, and it seems to be pretty smooth. Then with the uh, trigger here, I'm going to use my Dremel again, and I'm going to just start going through and try to remove all this plastic behind the trigger. And then I'm going to take an X-Acto blade and just kind of shave it down and make it as smooth looking as possible like you see here. Looks more like a regular trigger now. So now it's time to prime the gun. I've got the trigger done. I've sanded down this area. Going to leave the other holes of the grenade launcher. I've taped off my uh, ammo counter here. And I sprayed the whole gun with primer and you can see here the paint areas are slightly raised and the primer doesn't stick well and that's going to show up. So I need to sand that all down smooth. So I've gone and I've sanded down all the paint areas around the gun, painted it with my primer, and now you can see it's looking rather smooth. Looks really nice like a solid weapon piece here. So this is turning out pretty sweet. I'm getting pretty excited with how this is looking. I've gone and I've taped off the midsection here. Um, I'm going to paint all the exposed area with black uh, because it's supposed to be black so I'm going to go paint it all black. I'm going to use my Army Painter black primer painter that I got here, matte black, which actually is actually a slight sheen to it. And I've gone and I've sprayed that all here. Uh, it's a nice looking black. This is what I've used for my Batmobile and some other things. I just like the way it sprays. It looks really nice when it's done. Uh, I'm going to do flat black here for the pump on the grenade launcher. And I've finished that, done the pump. You can see the primed area of the midsection here exposed. Turned out really nice. It's looking really good. So the ammo counter is covered with the tape. Already painted the inside of the clip black. The trigger is still functioning fine. So those of you who do modeling might be familiar with Archive X, the uh, matched Star Wars color paints. Well, they also make a brown Bess. So I'll be using this Archive X brown Bess paint to paint and airbrush the brown color over the entire midsection of the gun here and I'm just going to get that going and I've painted a large section of it it's looking really nice going on smooth and I've painted the entire midsection now with the Archive X brown bess and I really like how this has turned out it's a really nice looking color uh, it's matched to the original weapon really well and I've also painted the bottom side of the clip to match the same color. There are some areas around the gun uh, where there's a little primer exposed and I'm going to have to go through by hand and just fill those in with some paint. Um, so I'm just going to get some matte black paint here and just go through and fill in these primer areas that are exposed so that it's nice and clean all around the gun which I've now done. Everything's clean, looks really good starting to look more like a real gun now at this point I'm happy with the colors um, it's pretty awesome um, this area here is looking good I wish I could have cut it out but it's working so now I just need to paint this area silver and I'm gonna do a little bit of silver in these areas up here as well so I've taped off the shotgun shell area here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some Tamiya Mica Silver that I have left over from doing a Jupiter 2. And I gave a shot of Mica Silver over that for the uh, area. And then I have some Folk Art uh, Metallic Nickel here. I'm just going to take some of that and rub and buff it in here over this area in the gun to make it look like a metallic slide there. This is a slide where the uh, ammo would be coming out when you're shooting the weapon. Actually, that's not. That's the slide, but the front area right here is where the ammo would be coming out. So I've got those filled in. looks like a little more metallic, like it's a real gun piece inside there. So at this point, I'm ready to start going around the gun, and I have some Tamiya Chrome Silver, and I'm just going to lightly start dry brushing all around all the black, uh, make it look like it's weathered, scratched up, 
been through a lot of handling, been through some uh, battles with some xenomorphs. And I'm just going to continue to go around the whole gun like you see here. Uh, weathering up all the black areas. It looks like it's worn metal. It's looking really good so far. Uh, here's the other side. You can see all the areas where I've done the silver dry brush making it look like worn gun metal. And then I'm going to go through with some German gray wash and I'm going to try to uh, do areas of the different nuts around the gun. Make it look like there's some depth there to these areas. Make it look like there's actually screws in there holding the pieces of the gun together. I'm just going to go around the entire gun and do some washing around these areas. And you can see here it's done. Highlights them. They really pop and stand out now. Uh, did these on this side. Uh, did some around the clip button here. And the bottom side you can see like this screw. These little guys here. And even the little guys on the front here, I did a little bit of washing around them so they pop and stand out. Then I'm also going to go through and do a little bit more dry brushing with my chrome silver around the uh, brown bess areas as well. Make it look like, again, worn painted metal. I'm just going to continue going around the whole gun until I feel like I like the way it's looking. It's all up to you how you uh, feel you like it. And here I've got it all worn. I like the way it's looking. Definitely looks more like a metal gun now. Really happy with the results of how it's looking. Uh, there's the other side there. You can see all the areas. There's some little spots where there's like little flecks of silver. It looks like little chipping, like things have hit it and it's just kind of chipped away some of the paint exposing the metal underneath. So with all this done, I'm gonna move on now and I'm gonna use some pastels and I'm just gonna start going around with some soot start making some dirty areas like this has been held by some dirty hands in battle in combat go around the whole thing the brown best and just use some soot dirty it up darken it up in areas then I'm also gonna take some sand pastel and go around the rest of the gun weathering it up until I'm pleased with the results and have a final product And here we have my finished M41A pulse rifle from Hasbro, the Nerf gun. And I, I'm really happy again with the way this has turned out. Uh, I think it looks pretty realistic. It's very screen accurate to the M41 in the movie. And I'd just like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and see the repaint of the pulse rifle. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.